Now this is a very different type of conifer. This is uh, Western Red Cedar. Uh, Thuya placata is the Latin name. And if you contrast it physically, visually, to the other conifers that we've seen, it couldn't be more different. We've lost those distinctive needles in pairs or groups. And what we've got is flattened scale-like foliage. Uh, and some of this arrangement and this function goes back to how Western Red Cedar actually operates, how it operates as a tree. It's a shade tolerant species, so it needs to maximise its photosynthetic area, it needs to capture as much light as possible, and it does this by having this flattened, scaly foliage. Um, when I say ch shade tolerant, what I mean is it can exist under the canopy of other trees. So if you want to manipulate your woodland structure or your, your uh, forest structure, you can use the fact that this will grow in shade to create multi-layered forest structures. So you can have shade tolerant species growing underneath light demanding species that need their canopy to be up in the uh, um, open sky. Quite a useful characteristic of the shade tolerant species is that you can use them to nurse uh, other species, basically provide side shelter and encourage upward growth in some of the hardwoods like oak and beech. Western red cedar has traditionally been used to, to nurse oak and beech to improve the quality and hopefully the final value of the stems that are uh, grown. One other distinguishing factor with uh, Western Red Cedar, doesn't work very well visually, but you'll have to trust me, if you crush the foliage and sniff it, you'll get a very distinct sort of pineapple smell to it. And once you get used to that and familiar with it, it's a very good way of identifying Western Red Cedar.